Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Ashley Cox 432 I've got your handle, because you left a comment in one of the YouTube videos there, asking this question, what are your views on web-based CMSs, content management systems, when compared to hand-coding a website? He got some issues there with grammar, spelling, and punctuation, but let's just push forward with the question. And do you feel that smaller CMSs are as good or better than the more popular products? So, uh, we get in the area of what's better, better we all know, is relative. Uh, just because something's popular doesn't mean it's better, and it certainly doesn't mean it's the best. So, my view. If you're starting a website, you want to get it up and online as quickly as possible. If you're not a developer... My suggestion would be going with an open source CMS. Granted, it may and will likely expose you to zero day threats, but you also will have a wider amount of support by the community versus some CMS content management system that Joe Dokes down the street programmed. Nobody but Joe Dokes could support it and it may be unstable. It may be good in some respects, but sucky in others. I mean, nothing is ever perfect. Nothing. So, in terms of hand coding, which is what we used to do in HTML, like by hand, you know, the tags and everything, uh, you know, building that by hand, if you want that experience, fine. Uh, but unless you were really skilled at uh, HTML, and JavaScript, and CSS, and beyond, uh, my recommendation is going with the pre rolled CMS. Potentially from the open source variety. You could use a service to build your website if you don't care a lick about anything else. You just want a web page up and online. You don't want to do any tweaking with it. You just want it there. Fine. Just use whatever's out there. It's not going to be a big deal. But as you create content and more and more content, you may want to move that content from one platform to the other. It will be impossible. And if not impossible, possible than certainly expensive if you ever had to take that content from a proprietary CMS to say something more widely accepted, an open source CMS. Benefits and drawbacks uh, to either one. Uh, but my view uh, is that it doesn't matter if it's smaller or bigger. If it has features that you love and appreciate, and if it's open source, then I think that's a CMS to watch for. Uh, you're going to have a better time in working with more widely accepted CMSs, but you're also going to have to be mindful of security issues. Uh, getting away with uh, doing a free hosting, it, you, you can do it if you're not planning on doing much with a website, but if you intend on making money, uh, having a business, you know, having a presence online, you're going to have to spend money. Just That's just what you're going to have to do but not necessarily on a CMS. Maybe you want to make some modifications to it. Maybe you're having issues. Maybe you want a better host. Maybe you want a better environment. Maybe you want a better theme. Then you can start spending even more money on, on something. Uh, but in terms of a hand-coded website, maybe do it for the practice. Uh, if you're really good at it, stick with it. That's your thing and you know what, what's going on. But if you don't, uh, I would go with something that is tried and true or, or maybe an up-and-comer. Smaller, bigger, uh, it doesn't matter. I have, uh, it's not my site. <laughs> it's your site. It's up to you, dude. I, I, I appreciate that you're asking me the question, but ultimately that's your decision to make. I'm not the one who's going to support your website. I'm not the one building it, okay? Uh, you couldn't afford me because I got other things to do, uh, and I, I just don't want to be in the business of building websites for people. Never has been my thing and likely uh, never will be. Uh, either way, uh, you know, that that's, uh, that's the, the answer to the, the question there. May, you know, I'm th thinking about getting into theming websites for people. That's kind of fun. Even though I wouldn't do that. I know a few designers who might be up for the task. Um, either way, Ashley Cox 432 thank you for commenting in a YouTube video somewhere that uh, we picked up on. Believe, you know, we, we, we really do. We believe it. I mean, that we pick up questions that you ask. Even on YouTube, believe it or not. Believe. Someone has to believe. I don't know what to believe anymore. But I do believe you can get a hold of me, chris at uh, and uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and whatever.
Okay? We'll see you later.